Hello judges, we're the Lancers, and today we're here to introduce to you Altilium Energy Storage. My name is Jared Hara. My name is Diane Bogdan. <laughs> my name is Chris Rosales. And my name is Chiaga Ron. And so, before we begin, it's a very important clarification we want to make. This is energy storage. It's not a form of energy production, and you'll see a little bit more of that when we get into it. Um, but that's one very important thing we want to keep in mind. water reserves. We temporarily store that water in these large containers that are about the size of an Olympic swimming pool. Once these containers are almost filled up, they seal up. When we want to use the power from these systems, we simply activate this piston, pushing the water all the way to the top. That water would then activate a siphon in here that causes all the water to get drained out of the container into another pipeline that goes into a turbine, which then goes back into our natural water systems. Why is this better? Simple. It only requires one container, and we can fully drain that container, versus current pump storage systems, which require two containers that we can't fully drain. This dramatically reduces the cost and dramatically increases the number of places where we can build it. It's also ridiculously cheap. The cost to build an Olympic-sized swimming pool is between $300,000 and $500,000, considering that we will not need chlorine, and considering how we can also build these above ground as well as under, their cost should be on the lower end of said estimate. And the labor cost, even though it could be slightly higher because of the elevation needed, it's not ridiculously so. Now, the only drawback to the system that we currently have is energy density, which thankfully does not matter as much in large-scale energy storage. To get a framework for how much this could store, if this were placed up 400 meters above the ground, it could potentially store two, uh, it could potentially release two million watt hours worth of energy within one, one full fill. Now to get an idea of how useful that can be, let's bring it over to the applications of this project. So right now, the vast majority of energy that we produce is wasted. Why is that? This is because energy production is inconsistent uh, with the times that we use energy. This causes, as I said previously, an excess amount of energy. Artillium, or Altillium energy storage can change that by storing energy during downtime and releasing the energy when peak utilization occurs. As my partner Chiago Pizzi stated as well, we utilize recycled water that would otherwise be sent out into large bodies of water, such as the St. Anne River. Now, what would happen if a citywide blackout were to occur? Altillium energy storage can be used for emergency services such as hospitals, police stations, and fire stations because we generate two megawatt per hours, million megawatt, two megawatt hours. Now judges, imagine a, imagine a world, imagine the possibility where we can turn inefficiency into opportunity. Join us and together we, we revolutionize the world. Thank you. 